but he's got that short stack he just hasn't enabled him to, and he's going to get the action he wanted. Well, he's made the call. You just wonder if that speech made his opponent think he had a small pair. Decided to make the call with the ace jack, and we're racing. Good point. It's time for a giveaway at WPT Global. Get a free $50 added to your account. Simply follow these three steps. Go to WPTGlobal.com slash YT. Make a new account with bonus code YT73 and make a deposit. That's it. $50 will be added to your account. Well, there you see our chip leaders, Michael Rocco out in front, nearly 5.6 million in chips. Chris Mormon in second place. And that's what they're playing for. The winner tonight takes home over a million dollars and takes down this coveted title. We started out with 534 players. We're down to these six. Andy's a 5,000. Lines are 15 and 30. The cards are flying around the table, and it's on the Englishman, Chris Mormon. Chris looks down at an ace jack of clubs. He likes it. Makes it 65,000 to go. It's the Frenchman, Patrick Bruel. Great entertainer. Fine player. He folds. Next up is Josh Newfield. Josh, 24 years old, from Los Angeles. Josh has got a whopper of a hand, Mike. Ace King. He's going to three bet this. And Josh Newfeld is going to make it 160,000 with his Ace King. Len Lefay quickly folding. Adam Friedman not playing. And now we're around to the chip leader, Michael Rocco, from LA as well. Yeah, 24 years old. Calls himself a professional nomad and just travels around doing whatever. He traveled out of his hand and back on Chris Mormon making the call. This could spell trouble for Mormon. Ace Jack under the Ace King, and here we go with the flop. Well, the flop comes 7 4 4 with two clubs. So Chris has flopped the nut flush draw, is going to check. Let's see if Josh makes the continuation bet. No, he slows down. Now a 10 comes off. No help to either player, and look at the Englishman is getting it out. Now he's number one online player in the world, won more money than anyone. And now he's playing a live tournament and playing well. He's betting on the come here. I'm going to bet 150,000 here. Can he get Josh to go out? Vince Josh sold a screenplay when he was 16 years old about online poker. Now playing at the final table. He's going to fold his hand. So Chris Mormon going to take down pot number one at this final table. Back to the table. Josh Newfeld will fold his hand. Len LeFay now, 40-year-old out of Ridgefield, Connecticut, also won't play. And now it's around to Adam Friedman. Well, Adam, a phenomenal poker player. Terrific seven-card stud player. Has a World Series of Poker bracelet on that. Great at high-low split games. He'll admit no limit hold'em is his worst game, but still, this guy is good. He's raised with nothing into the chip leader. Michael, who has a junk hand, seven deuce, he won't play. But the Englishman, Chris Mormon, does have a real hand, ace check. And he won the last pot with Ace Jack when he didn't have the best hand. This time he does have the best hand with the Ace Jack. Let's see what he's going to do with it. Adam just taking a shot. He is a short stack at this moment. And he cannot shake loose Chris Mormon. Makes it 160,000 to go. Patrick going out. Adam's going to slink away. Quickly folds. Got to respect Adam, though, to take a shot there. In position. Saw guys were folding in front of him. Said, I'm going to take advantage of that, perhaps. But it backfired. Well, there's some of Chris Mormon's rooters in the crowd. Went to the next hand. We had 534 players start this event. Mike, you finished in the money, of course. I did. I actually played for four days in this tournament. Played with Glenn a fair amount. Played very solid when I was at his table. He's got a 7-5. Won't play that mess. And now Adam again gets involved with an ace-queen of hearts. He will raise. Makes it 60,000 to go. Rocco, the chip leader, will fold. Chris Mormon out as well. The Frenchman, Patrick, he will not play that. And now Josh with a 7-5 of spades. Josh in the big blind. He's got money invested. Yeah, he was induced to call and makes that call. Wants to see a flop here. And a good Ooh. flop for him. You if think? He's flopped the stone nuts. By playing slop, and he's going to check it. 
Oh, Adam checks right behind him. Yeah, no continuation bet. And now it's a four of hearts. Now there's four of hearts there for Adam, though. And Josh is now going to bet the straight. Betting 60,000. Let's see what Adam's going to do with this flush draw. Better be a little careful here. Doesn't get aggressive. Lucky for him, perhaps, because he's not made yet. Can he catch his heart? No. Now the board pairs sixes. So now there's two pair on the board. Josh has the straight. A little value bet here. It's not so little. It's 130,000. Adam has two pair with an ace kicker now, though. He's going to make the call, and he's going to see his opponent flop the straight. So, so far, nothing going right for Adam at this final table. Josh Neufeld, 24 years old. There's Josh's family and friends. It's time for a giveaway at WPT Global. Get a free $50 added to your account. Simply follow these three steps. Go to WPTGlobal.com slash YT. Make a new account with bonus code YT73 and make a deposit. That's it. $50 will be added to your account. Here we go. Action's on, Adam. And he can't play that. So we move on to the chip leader, Michael Rocco. He's got a nothing hand. He will muck. Over to Chris Mormon. He picks up ace queen, so he's getting some cards here. He's going to raise it. Makes it 65,000 to go. Patrick out. Josh Newfeld will not play. Over to Glenn LaFay. He's in the big blind. Then the money manager, a former equities trader. Yep. Going to make the call here. Going to speculate with a 5-4. And here we go. The flop comes. Queen 10-8. Good flop there for Chris. He's got top pair, top kicker. Nothing for LaFay. He checks. And the 28-year-old Chris with top pair. Getting out the money. He's going to bet a smooth 70,000. And Glenn LaFay with nothing. Glenn. An investment fund manager. Yeah, they better be careful here. I don't think this will be the time to make a move. Nope, he decides to lay it down, so Chris Mormon picking up yet another pot. Highly respected poker pro out of England. Doing quite well right now. Action's going to be on Michael Rocco, our chip leader here. 24 years old, the professional nomad. He calls himself fine player and finally picks up a real hand. Ace, queen of clubs. Definitely going to raise this. Makes it 75,000 to go. But right behind him, Chris with a pretty solid queen jack of spades. Mormon, by far the most aggressive at the table so far, but he's out of hand every time. Getting those raising chips out. Yes, he's going to make it 185. Patrick Burrell goes out. Yeah, Josh not playing. Around to Glenn. He's got a nice suited connector, 6-7 of clubs. Yeah, it's been three bent in front of him. Doesn't have that many chips. He goes away. Adam out. Two chip leaders going to battle for this. And Michael just calling it. Doesn't get fancy. Well, the flop comes ace jack six with two hearts. Nice swap for Michael Rocco. He's got top pair. Chris has got middle pair, and they have the same kicker. Not good news for Chris. Michael has checked it. Going to wait for his victim to bet it. Chris swinging away. Bets 185. Well, Michael's just going to make the call here. Michael looks like one of the most relaxed human beings I've ever seen. Wonder what he does. Walking around in the hills all day as a nomad. Well, an ace comes off on the turn. Oh, yeah. Michael was leading out and betting 500,000. Now, Mormon, three bet before the flop. He bet on the flop. But after check calling the flop, Rocco leading out on the turn for a half a million. And it's puzzled Mormon because he's made the call here, thinking his jacks might be the best hand. Two chip leaders in a big pot and the river cards, a three of diamonds. So three diamonds on the board now. Rocco getting out some heavy artillery now. Oh, 
That is a million he's betting. What will Mormon do now? They called him on the turn. Can he get away from this hand now? Chris, a great bridge player, pool player, you name it. Poker player, highly respected. In a dilemma right now to call or fold. And he gets away from this hand. A good lay down there by Chris Mormon. And our chip leader, Michael Rocco, takes down a nice pot there to extend his chip lead. Yeah, he's a local. He's been waiting patiently. He calls himself a nomad, and now the nomad has struck. Let's go to Josh Newfeld, the local. Josh, this time with a nice ace-10 of clubs. He's reaching for raisin chips. His grandfather, Mace Newfeld, a big Hollywood producer, taught him how to play poker, and Josh is doing the right thing here. Makes it 65,000 to go. Yeah, Mace produced movies, Hunt for Red October, Invictus, and The Omen, among others. Glenn and Adam out, and now our chip leader, Michael. No, he won't play that. Chris Mormon out as well. But the Frenchman, Patrick Bruel, with a king, seven of clubs. Ah, c'est la vie, monsieur. In the big blind, will invest. So ace-10 versus king-7, we are flopping. It's an ace-king-9. Not good for Patrick. He's flopped two kings, but his opponent has flopped aces. Patrick quickly checks. And Josh, Willie made the continuation bet. He bet before the flop. He hits on the flop. 70,000. And Grandpa would be happy because he makes the bet. 70,000. And Patrick likes to play a lot of pots. And he's going to make the call here. Ooh la la. Going to need some help. Doesn't happen on the turn as the three of spades comes off. Again, Patrick checks. And Josh is getting the chips out again. It's going to bet 150,000. The Frenchman getting stubborn here, doesn't believe the man on his left. Well, without hesitation, Patrick calls again. Okay, down to the river we go. Well, a jack comes off. Yep, jack of spades. Action on Patrick, again he checks. Josh checks right behind him, Patrick turns up kings. His opponent turns up aces. Reaction from Patrick, like, how can you have an ace against me? That's impossible. <laughs> but he does. And Josh Newfeld, the local, the 24-year-old, going to take down that pot. Now the blinds are going up to 20 and 40,000. Action right back on Josh. And this time he has... Queen-8 offsuit. Not Give much of a hand, yeah. Glenn LeFay. The non-professional, father of two, behind him has a pretty good ace jack. Been playing poker for 30 years, he says. He's not afraid of any of these pros. He's very confident. Actually believes he's the best player at the final table. Well, he has raised it to 105, and now Adam Friedman with a little pair. He's on the short stack. And it's been a pro for eight years. I bet it all. He's going to bet it all. He's going to bet it all. Moves all in here with the two fours. Michael going out. Chris Mormon not playing. Patrick still disgusted after the last hand. I like the first one. But... So he gets out of the way. So it's back on Glenn LeFay. I'm doing about every dollar I got in my wallet. I got the best hand right now. You have any money in your wallet? Mm, a few hundred bucks. <laughs> I need a second, guys. I'm sorry. No, don't worry Take about it. Time. Adam says he wants to entertain at the table. He likes to be talkative, have a good time. But he's got that short stack. He just hasn't enabled him to. And he's going to get the action he wanted. Well, he's made the call. You just wonder if that speech made his opponent think he had a small pair. Decided to make the call with the ace jack, and we're racing. Good point. If you had about ace-nine, you'd have folded. Adam Friedman would love to double up right now. Adam's tournament life on the line. Can he hold off? Oh, boy. Ace right in the door. Tough luck for Adam Friedman. Looks like he's got to catch a four now to win this pot. Adam Friedman needs to catch Lucky. Deuce of clubs, no help for Adam. We are down to the river. Adam Friedman has a two-outer, must catch a four. 
Otherwise, he'll be our sixth place finisher. Adam needs the big suck out. Can he get it? River card is a five, not to be for Adam. So that's going to do it for Adam Friedman out tonight in sixth place. He'll be heading back to Columbus, man. Good week for him, but this wasn't meant to be tonight. Good sport. Handshakes all around. Adam Friedman out in sixth place. We'll take home 200,000 and great stories back to Ohio. It's time for a giveaway at WPT Global. Get a free $50 added to your account. Simply follow these three steps. Go to WPTGlobal.com slash YT. Make a new account with bonus code YT73 and make a deposit. That's it. $50 will be added to your account. Michael Rocco, the chip leader with 6.5 million. And Chris Mormon in second place, as you can see. Lynn Lefay in third, Patrick Burrell from France in fourth. <laughs> All right, action going to Michael. And this time our chip leader looks at a king deuce of hearts. And the very aggressive young guy is going to raise it to 100,000. Chris out. Patrick Burrell's got the kind of hand you like to see flops with. He's in position on the button. He's going to make the call for 100,000. Josh Newfeld out. And now Glenn will not play. So two-way action, King Deuce versus 9-7. Both of them have hearts. When hearts come on the flop, it's come queen 6-3. This might not bode well for Patrick Bruel here. Boy, they both have four flushes. Michael going to make the continuation bet of 125. Patrick going to call. Fourth Street is a three, pairs the board. And now Michael. Steering down the Frenchman. And finally he's gonna check. And this is gonna open up a little opportunity for Patrick. He's got nothing but a four flush, but maybe he can take it now. He's thinking betting 175. This young kid is stubborn. He's making the call. Well, he's got the bigger flush draw. River card, no flush. Just a three of diamonds, three of a kind on board. Michael Rocco. He's leading out and betting 400,000. Yes, and Patrick discouraged, has to throw away his hand. This kid can really play great poker. And right now, action's right back on Michael. This time he has a king six of diamonds. They're going to open right under the gun here with just a call. He limps in. Mormon behind him with two tens. Yeah, he's got the real hand pair of tens. And no limit hold him. There's a slogan, beware of the limper, but Mormon not paying attention to that. He's going to raise it here with the two tens. Yeah, made it 130 to go. Patrick out and Josh also out. And now the non-professional Glenn LeFay with an ace eight of spades, and he's thinking he can get in cheap here, perhaps. Well, not so cheap. It's 130,000. But he's in for the big blind start, so he's going to invest here. After limping in, Rocco now raises it to 460,000 with just a king six. Yeah, getting aggressive with that. He is staring down Mormon. You know, Chris has a real hand here. Well, you're always afraid that the guy limped in Grace. might have aces or kings. Well, Mormon's not afraid of that because he's raised him again. He makes it 930,000 to go. Then LaFay says, why did I call that 130? Donated a little bit, but now it's back on the chip leader, Michael, and he is going to stay in this. Well, just getting stubborn now. It's just like a macho contest with him right now, it looks like. A lot of money in the pot. Here we go. Who will get lucky? And here comes the flop, and it's, oh my goodness, 10 3 3. That's 10's full for Chris Mormon. Just a dream flop oh. for Mormon. Rocco checks. 
Now for Chris, Showtunes going off in his head. He's going to check and try to trap. Well, that may work now because the fourth diamond has come off for Rocco. He now has a flush draw, obviously drawing dead. But he doesn't know it. This could give him hope, and he is going to come out with a bet again of 450. Oh, boy. This is Trap City here for the Englishman. He's thinking, okay, definitely don't raise. You got position on him, and you just call. Beautifully done. Yeah, just going to try to reel him in where he can get the complete double up here. Down to the river. If Michael gets his diamond. Look out. Let's take a look. He's got a diamond. king. Yeah, he got he the king. He now has kings up here. So he was bluffing. Now thinks he has the best hand. Now going to get a value bet in or try to. 930,000. Chris Mormon, tens full. You've been setting up your man. Collar clock. Wow, that was fast. Wasn't enough time yet. He hasn't had enough time to act on that hand. He hasn't had enough time to act on that hand. It's not enough, joke. It's not enough time. No. I'm not allowing You're a joke. That. You take two minutes every hand pre flop yesterday. You're a joke. Okay. These guys are sparring now, Vince. The gloves have come off, folks. You got two jacks? You call it two jacks? Put the money in. You flat me with two jacks pre-flop. Get to the river this way and fold. Cool. Flat you. You flat me. It is getting ugly here in L.A. Oh boy. Folks, this could be Ali Frazier 4 before it's over with. Well, there it goes. It's all in now. That'll quiet him down. Now, that's only an additional 700,000, but still, Michael's got to think through this and go, wait a second, is this guy really going to put in all that money at this point? Well, there's 5.5 .5 million in the pot. Right. Cost him 700,000 to make this call. Well, it seems obvious that Michael Rocco realizes Mormon's the guy to beat at this table. Trying to get into his head, calling the clock early on him, then saying, put your money in. Well, he put it in all right. He put it all in. He's going to make the good lay down. Well, it was a good lay down, and Mormon wins that pot, and with it, he takes the chip lead. And they are getting feisty in LA at the LAPC. A million dollars for the winner, and they are throwing punches at each other. Bare knuckles, too, Vince. It doesn't get better than this.